time to get started on this drawer now. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. It's Tuesday again, and that means it's time for another Tiny Tidy. This week, I am tidying up in my bathroom, and I'm going to warn you right now, it's not much of a mess. And the reason is because I don't have a lot of the usual um, accoutrement, or whatever they call it. Um, I don't have makeup. I don't have kids' things. I don't have any of that stuff in my bathroom, and I have decluttered in my bathroom several times, so it's... I guess you could say pretty minimal. I'm not a minimalist, but um, I realize that for things to be under my personal clutter threshold, and that is a term that Dana K. White uses, if, so if you're not familiar with that, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check out her channel. But my clutter threshold is pretty low, and so in order for me to get my spaces um, decluttered enough so that I can and will maintain them, um, they get pretty minimal a lot of times. Not always, but a lot of times. And my bathroom is one of those spaces. We have one and a half bath, and my husband keeps his things like toothpaste and all that kind of stuff. He keeps that in the half bath, um, and all of mine is in the main bathroom. Um, but we only have one shower tub, so both of us use that part of the bathroom. But as you'll see... Mine really isn't too awfully messy, but the point of decluttering and getting it under your clutter threshold is so that, one, it maybe it doesn't get really messy, or two, if it is one of those areas that does get messy, it's very quick and easy to put it all back into order. And that's pretty much the goal. For me, in my particular case, like I said, I don't wear makeup, so I don't have a lot of that stuff in there, so my bathroom area just doesn't get very messy. We don't throw our towels on the floor. Um, uh, I don't have much counter space, so there's not a lot of stuff sitting on the counters and that sort of thing. So what you're going to see is it was just time to do a little thing where you take all the stuff out of the drawer and wipe the drawers out because, you know, no matter how hard you try, stuff gets in your drawers. Just ask Sunday Dawn because she just last Tuesday cleaned out her kitchen drawers and she was like, whoa. Well, that happens to all of us. I don't know how stuff gets in those drawers under all the silverware, but it happens to all of us. And in your bathroom, stuff gets in your drawers, right? So every once in a while, if you keep on top of it and don't wait till it gets really messy, just take the stuff out. Um, in my case, I needed to put a new liner down in the mirrors or in the medicine cabinet. I needed to wipe out the drawers in the uh, vanity, and I needed to wipe out underneath the sink, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So, if you've got something that you need to tidy up, grab your stuff, and come on, we'll do it together. Let's head off to my bathroom and get some tidying done. Today, I am in our bathroom because I want to take a peek in the medicine cabinet and see if there's anything in here that needs to be decluttered, um, but also because, as you can see, it needs a little bit of clean and a little wipe down. So I'm going to take all of the stuff out of the medicine cabinet and um, clean it, reline the bottom, stuff like that, and then see if anything uh, needs to be decluttered, if anything's expired, stuff that I don't use anymore, and um, then put it all back in there if I need to. Um, and to accommodate that, because I have a very small counter, as you can see, I don't have much counter space. I have these trays that I have in my pantry, and I have a few extras. So when I have a job where I need to have a little tray, I'll pull one of those out and use it. And it's going to fit right over the sink, so I don't have to worry about things falling down in the sink. Um, and I also will have enough room to put all the stuff. Just so you can see, in this side of the medicine cabinet, I have one of my little happies. Isn't that a cute little tray? So I've gotten everything out of both sides. And you can see, this side's cleared out too. And all of it fit into my tray. Now normally I would say if you're doing something like this, take a picture before you take everything out in case you want to put everything back in the same way. But I was able to just take everything out. It's kind of like two rows. I think I'll be able to tell pretty easily what I had where, 
and if not, I could just figure it out. But it can be a time saver if you just want to put everything back the way you had it, and you don't have to try to remember how everything was put in there. You can just look at your pictures and put it back and get it done and over with. Another benefit to putting the things in a tray instead of just on the counter, because even if you have the counter space, if you put the things out of the cabinet into a tray, if for some reason you get interrupted, you can just easily pick up the tray and move it to another spot if, you, if that's something that we'd have to do. For example, I just got a text from my hubby and he is on his way home. So if he gets home before I get this put back together, I don't want it to be all over the, this little counter, and I also don't want, don't want to leave it covering up the sink. So I'll just be able to grab this tray and move it to the side or move it to another space in the house if I need to. But I'm going to try to get all of this done before he gets home. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, well that didn't take very long. I got the um, glass on this part wiped down. And I replaced the paper towels that I had lining the bottom part with uh, parchment paper. It's kind of rusty. It's old. It's the one that was here when we bought the house. We've not bothered to replace it. And I tried to find some contact paper or something that would kind of coordinate with the bathroom, but I haven't found anything yet because I would like to either repaint this or uh, line it with something so it doesn't look, you know, have the rusty spots. But, you know, it's okay. It functions. Um, but I didn't have anything to um, get rid of. Um, I just put everything back here. Sorry. And this is what the other side looks like. It's This is the um, medicine cabinet that I use. We have a half bath also. And Hubby um, keeps his stuff in there. So this is just my stuff that's in here. So it's not very full. But my little tray was very helpful. It kept everything right here in handy. I just put it down, and then when I was finished wiping the stuff off, I was just able to just put it right back up in, and that was uh, really a big time saver, so I'm glad I thought to do that. But now, Hubby is going to be coming home soon, so I will finish the rest of this project in a little while. See, now I can just put my little supplies in here, move this out of the way, and nobody will be the wiser that I have been doing any tidying up or cleaning up or decluttering or anything else in here. And the next thing I'm going to do when I come back in here is clean this out because this thing, I ran out of soap in it and I put a little water in it to get the rest of it and now it's just squirting water down in the bottom of the thing. So that wasn't a very good idea. So now I'm going to clean that out and refill this with soap. I got this thing cleaned out just as Hubby got home. So I'll quickly show you. See, it's all cleaned out done in there. I washed this out, wiped these things off, refilled the soap thing. The toothbrush is so I can grab it out if I want to scrub something around the sink really quickly. Not for a real good clean, but if I just have something I want to clean off with it. So I just have it there handy. Um, the reason I put this here is not just because it looks prettier than just having the stuff sitting out, but also when I would squirt the hand, uh, the hand soap especially, it was always leaving uh, remnants on of soap on the counter. And um, one of the soaps that I had, um, I couldn't find the kind I liked, and it left a yellowy stain on my counter. So I tried to find a solution to keep from that anything like that happening again. So I found this at the Dollar Tree and got one of those and gave it a try and it's worked out really well. So now when we squirt this, if any of it does squirt out, it typically will go down inside of there and then I can just wash it out, but I don't need to worry about it staining my counter. And it's also actually easier to clean up than cleaning it up from the counter because that was like a constant type thing I had to do. And this, it really hasn't had much problem till I put water in the bottle. Um, but I really hadn't noticed any, so for some reason putting it in there seemed to stop it from squirting all over the place. I don't know. I think it was just coincidence, but whatever. Anyway, um, hubby's home. I'm going to go get dinner ready for us, but I got that part finished. I'm working from the top down. I'm not doing a deep clean on the bathroom, but I am going to clean the bathroom, but not in this video. But I wanted to clean out these cabinets and drawers before I do that. So next up will be this drawer.
Then we will move over to this drawer and then down there. And my tray is coming in very handy. Oh, and by the way, this stays here because PJ likes to have a little bit of water up here on the sink in the bathroom, so we keep this here for her. We don't want to have anything that she can knock off and break or anything like that, so it's just a little plastic bowl um, that we put up here. So that's why that's there. Time to get started on this drawer now. So since I have it, this is something that I can show you. I do. Um, I don't have a lot behind this little basket. So when I am taking a bath or a shower, I take my glasses off and put them here instead of on the counter because if the cats jump up here and knock my glasses off, they could break them. But this way they are safe. So I keep that so that I can always have this little area here. So just a little tip if you have a similar situation. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull this basket out of the drawer and also these other things because I wanna wipe it out, but also I wanna go through this stuff. So I'm just gonna grab all of this and throw it into this little basket up here so that I can see it and go through it easily. And one thing about decluttering, the goal isn't just to declutter. The goal is to get things to where it's more simple and functional for your home. And so that's going to look for different for different people, right? So mine a lot of times looks very minimal because there's just the two of us and I don't, I've learned I really don't need all the excess stuff. But if I had kids or something like that, or if I did a lot of primping with my hair or did makeup or something, I would need more things in my bathroom and the drawers and things. But I'm a pretty plain and simple for real. That's why I picked the, the channel name, Melinda Plain and Simple, because that's pretty much what I am, plain and simple. Um, but one thing that you're gonna, that you know, we don't wanna do is just declutter just to get a bunch of things to declutter. If your stuff's already decluttered, you don't need to declutter anything more, but you might still need to tidy it up, meaning clean it out every once in a while, because as you can see in here, maybe, um, maybe down in the bottoms here, I'm not sure. Okay, you can see right there. So it just needs to get wiped out and that sort of thing. So I wanna wipe these things out, wipe the drawer out, and see, there's some stuff there. So it just needs a tidying up every once in a while, just a cleaning, a wipe out, um, even if I don't have a lot to declutter. And in this case, I've already decluttered this stuff. I don't need to let any of this go, but I have not used these. I've kept these for a while. I have not had any reason to use them. And so I'll put those there. And also, I kept these because I thought maybe I might use them. I found these when, I was decluttering either in the spare bedroom, aka the doom room, or in my office, one or the other. I found it in there, and I put them in this drawer in case I wanted to use them to hold my hair back. Well, I hadn't used them at all, um, but the other day I grabbed one out just to see because I knew I wanted to get a time to come in and clean these drawers out. So I put one of these on, and it actually hits me in a spot at the back of my head, at my neck, that is not a good place for me to have pressure. So um, I decided right then and there that these would go. So there, right there is six things that I am decluttering from this drawer that I have decluttered more than once. Um, these I will hang on to because occasionally I do um, need to pull my hair back or something. And um, so I did keep a few colors. I don't think I need those. Um, I, more than likely, I'm going to pull out the pink ones um, and the black ones. But the pink one, one of them is kind of stretched out. Um, so that's why I'm keeping the blue ones too. So I think I will just get rid of that. I don't have an even pair, but that's okay. Um, so I think I'll just keep these. Those will be the ones I keep. And, oh, here's some more. I'll keep. Let's see. What do I want to do? Okay, that can go with the pink one. And there we go. That'll be good. So I'm just going to keep these and the rest of this can go. So that is 10 items. That's 10 items right there that can go. Um, and that's just from this one drawer. 
And that may be all I find to declutter in here because I have already gone through and decluttered um, my bathroom uh, more than once. So I've got it pretty down to minimal at this point, but you never know. Every once in a while you still find something. Um, you find something that you've added in or something that um, you just realize you're not using, kind of like this stuff. So I'm going to let that stuff go. I'm going to put this stuff back. But first, I am going to wipe these drawers out and wipe this little tray out. And I grabbed one of these um, little clippy things to hold the hair elastics together so they're not all over the drawer now. And those can be right there. So that drawer is finished. And there are the things that we're going to be letting go of. And now we're going to head over to this drawer. And as you can see, not much in this drawer, but it still needs to get wiped out. And now that drawer is put back together. And I'll be honest, I don't use the stuff in this drawer very often, but I have a flashlight in here just in case we need to have a light while we're in here, you know, if the electric goes out or something. Um, and also I have one of those things in case you have, you know, lint or something on your clothing. Um, if you're in here in the bathroom, um, you can clean it off. Or like sometimes I'll realize that um, I have a nail that needs to be filed or something. So I just put a couple of those types of things in this drawer just for those kind of purposes. But honestly, um, I don't know if I've ever used them. I mean, you can see the, that still has the paper on it. But I'm not using the drawer for anything else. So I just leave it in there. It's not bothering anything. And now I'm going to take some things out of this cabinet, wipe it down, and I'll see if there's anything that I need to get rid of. Okay, I got it wiped down and I put everything back. Um, this is where I keep the toilet brush thingy and I have some toothbrushes in here for cleaning purposes, but there were five in there. I don't think I need five, so I'm going to get rid of these two. And um, I keep most everything in a bin, so it makes it easier just to take everything out to clean and all that sort of thing. Um, but this is the bin that I put our toilet paper in so that we have a, a few rolls in here, um, in addition to the ones that I have in the linen closet. And these, uh, this is the doorknob. Um, when I finish painting, I've got to paint the hallway. When I finish painting, because I'm painting the door too, I'll put these back on, but I don't want to lose them, so I've just put them in here for now. And um, I have my water pick in a basket, and I have this um, shelf thingy so that it gives me an extra layer here, so the scales are underneath that. And um, this is some stuff that my niece gave me is supposed to help with your hair to keep it from being frizzy. I don't know how much it helps, but I've been using it. Um, and let's see. That's it. And, oh, and this. I'm going to put this back in here. It's just a little clay pot, but I have an old candle in here, and it still smells good, so I just keep it underneath here. But that is my uh, cabinet all cleaned out, wiped out, and put back together. And so that didn't take very long. None of these took long, took longer talking about it than it than took to do it. And that's it. So there you go. All done. How on earth do all these little messy bits get in? I clean them out and right away they get in there again. And every time I look inside, they're hiding in my drawer underneath the other stuff I put in there before. There has to be an answer that explains the messy bits, a simple explanation that makes sense because it fits. It doesn't have to scare us, even though it may be hairy, but the simplest of answers is we have a clutter fairy. Thank you to Sunday Dawn from The Helpful Home for hosting Tiny Tidy Tuesdays every week. And be sure you check out that playlist in the description box below so you can watch all the other Tiny Tidies and get motivation and inspiration to tidy up, declutter, and clean around your house.
Let me know in the comments if you did a tiny tidy along with me or if you're going to be tidying up something pretty soon. I'd love to hear from you. Meanwhile, happy decluttering!